Let me share with you a quick overview of Kyber Network. Kyber is working towards a future where any tokens is usable anytime, anywhere. Today, there are already thousands of different tokens and protocols, and we expect this number to explode over the next few years. The innovation is obviously amazing. However, there's one major problem that we need to address. The vast majority of these tokens are only used on exchanges or for their own specific use cases, leading to a fragmented ecosystem where the usability of both tokens and applications are extremely limited. What Kyber is doing is becoming the bridge between the whole universe of tokens and applications and allowing the tokens to be used seamlessly anywhere. For example, for Go token holders, they should be able to use the tokens to buy t shirt to uh, play video games, or even invest in hedge funds. And of course, it's not just about Go tokens, but any kind of tokens that one might hold. So let me explain a little bit on how things work. At the heart of Kyber, uh, there is a decentralized liquidity network, which enables anyone to openly contribute liquidity by being a reserve. And at the same time, any applications can freely integrate and access to the liquidity pool. Tokens supported by the network will become instantly usable across all the integrated applications. I know it sounds a little bit abstract, so let me just give you a few examples. Say you have a lot of OMG tokens and you want to use them, but your favorite t-shirt store only wants to accept uh, you know, stable coins. So once the store integrates with Kyber, you can purchase t-shirt using OMG or any token of your choice. When the same transaction, they will receive the payment in their preferred token, uh, you know, be it DAI, Ether, or true USD. This is possible because Kyber's liquidity network supports instant token-to-token -token transactions. Similarly, for any decentralized financial applications, including agendas, index fund uh, that have integrated with Kyber, you will then be able to contribute to the fund in different tokens that are available on Kyber. And in the same transaction, the fund can instantly rebalance its portfolio into its desired mix of tokens. Everything is done on the smart contract and fully on chain, leading to a fully secure, transparent, and verifiable financial system. And as you can see from these two simple examples, what Kyber focuses on is removing as much friction as possible for the uses of any kind of tokens across any kind of use case. And we do so by enabling three things. First of all, making it easy for any applications to integrate with Kyber. Secondly, removing risks and uncertainty from every single transaction. And lastly, by making the whole process transparent and secure. We believe that the removal of these barriers is critical for mainstream adoption of decentralized applications. We do not see a future in which you have to hold and buy 50 different tokens in order to use 50 different dApps. Token holders should be able to use any tokens they have to access all the use cases available. And on the flip side, decentralized applications should be, uh, you know, dramatically expand their, us their user base by integrating with Kyber and accepting any kind of tokens. Let me uh, end with some thoughts on how we view the blockchain space today. First off, we believe liquidity is just not about trading, but it's that liquidity really boils down to usability or how seamlessly tokens can be used across many different applications and use cases with as little friction as possible. And when that is achieved, the entire decentralized ecosystem will be able to work much better together to realize its full potential. Secondly, we believe that the first phase of the tokenized world really arrived when Bitcoin created its first token as we know it, following which um, Ethereum accelerated the evolution by making it easy for developers and asset holders to create the token uh, without deploying its, you know, their own new chain. And where we are now is a world that has an exploding number of tokens with many more to come. As a result, the next phase has to be one where tokens not just get created, but become usable and accepted in as many ways as possible. 
And this is the future uh, that Kyber is working towards. One where the decentralized ecosystem operates together seamlessly and where any tokens is usable anytime, anywhere.